Otra, otra, otra. Hi, Sandra. Nice to see you again. Thank you. Hello. Are, are you are okay? You? Um, well, better than yesterday. Thanks, God. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, yes. Okay. Hey. How are you? I pray for you. Hello. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You're I welcome. Appreciate. Can you hear me, guys? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, we can. Okay, very good. Hey, how are you? Yes, sir. How are you, teacher? Good. Very nice. And you? I'm great. I'm great. Um, very happy to see you here, guys. Very Thank happy you. to see you. Okay. So, um, anyways, so how was your day today? Welcome, Sandra, Luis, Evelyn, Jose, Luis. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Today, this day has been very hot, teacher. Today's been very hot. Because, yes. I have had to drink several li li liters of water. Seven liters because, of water? Yes. Because wow. the, the sun is very, very um, hot. Okay. Where do you live? I live in um, Chalatenango, oh, in near Chalatenango. to uh, Suchitran Lake, in front of Suchitran Lake. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Mm. I went there uh, during my, my vacation, you know? Yep. Yep. That's awesome, man. That is mm. awesome. Welcome, Evelyn. Welcome, Rafa. How are you doing? How was your day today? What Hello, you I'm fine, thank you. We're good. All right. Pretty good, guys. Pretty good. Okay, so anyways, good to see you guys. Um, so today we're gonna continue talking about um we're gonna continue talking about relative clauses, right? How to how to um reduce the real relative clauses, and then we're gonna go over the platform today, okay. And then in the upcoming days, so meaning uh, tomorrow and the day after tomorrow, we're going to finish, um, well, with the content that we got here. And we're also going to go over the final assessment, right? So okay. that's it, guys. Okay, so, so let's get started, okay? Um, sorry, this uh, tell me, tell me. Be the last assessment. The, uh, we're going to go over the assessment, the, the final exam on, we're, I mean, tomorrow. We, we, we're going to do it tomorrow. We're, today, we're going to go over the section four answer, and then tomorrow, we're going to go over the final assessment answers, okay? All right. So, no worries about that. Guys. We are going to go over the assessment, guys. We always go over the assessment in the class, so no worries about that, all right? Very good, guys. So, guys, let's uh, do a quick review from yesterday because today we're going to keep talking about the same thing, right? So, what is, guys, what is the clause, guys? A clause is a group of words that it contains a, a subject and a predicate. Very good. Very good. Okay. That is correct. Okay. And what are the different types of real, of uh, clauses that we learned about yesterday? Who can tell me? We went over two of them, well, um, remember? We were talking about dependent and independent clauses. Okay, we were talking about dependent and non-dependent clauses right okay all right very good um very good and what would be a, an example of um what would be an example of a independent clause um i've been working there the, the what i'm sorry i've been i've been working there I've been working there. Okay, very good. And what would be an example of uh, dependent relative clause? Mm 
What do you think? Uh, which is the largest company. All right. Very good, guys. Okay. All right, guys. So let's get started then. Um, so we're going to go. Let's let's keep talking about clauses, guys. Okay. So we know, guys, right? We know what a dependent clause is, right? So now let's talk about relative uh, relative clauses, okay? So now, guys, um, so by the end of this class, you'll learn how to use relative clauses. So you can join two ideas into one, okay? First of all, guys, let's talk about pronouns. Remember, yesterday we said, hey, uh, how do we know, right? How do we know that something is that that something is a, a uh, clause? How do we know that? Because you know we have a subject and a verb, right? We have we have a subject and a predicate. Okay, so we have guys, we have one type of, we have a, one type of relative clause, okay, which is uh, which is started by relative pronouns, okay. And what are the relative pronouns? Who can help me read, guys? Who wants to help me read? What are their relative pronouns? Who, which, who's, whom, who, that. Which, who's, whom, that, right? Very good. Why are they pronouns? You always have to know the why, guys. It's not, oh, I'm just going to make, I'm going to name that, that um, you know, who a pronoun. No, it's not because it has a reason. So why are they pronouns? Hey, where is the participation I always get, guys? What happened today? Um, maybe um, it is like to specify like a thing uh, or the subject, what it is or a situation. Right. Or, no. Okay, all right, very good. So let's do this, guys, okay? I need, I really need you on board, okay? So. How about this, guys? I'm going to tell you something, okay? All right, so a pronoun. I, you, uh, he, she, it, we, uh, they, right? I think I'm missing one, but whatever. All right, these are pronouns. Why are they pronouns? Why? Why are, are they pronouns? What are they doing? Why do I need them for? For indicating the subject. Okay, guys, no, okay? Guys, what they do, guys, what they do, okay, is that they replace a noun, got it? Think about it like this. Without pronouns, guys, I would be like, uh, Luis woke up at 8 a.m. yesterday. Luis cleaned the dishes, and Luis went to the cinema with Luis's girlfriend. And Luis went over... Uh, went went to uh, his workplace. One Louis once Louis was ready, and Louis wanted. Do you see what happens there, guys? What's going on? If pronouns didn't exist, what am I doing? What's going on? Repeating the same word or the same noun. Exactly, guys. All right, so pronouns will replace a noun. Okay. So why, David, why do we have to learn about relative clauses? Good question, guys, good question, okay? Thank you so much for asking me that, all right? It's important to learn about relative clauses, guys, because I hear a lot of this. Mm, um, my mom, right? My mom went to the, to the hospital. No, hold on. My mom, she went to the hospital. Okay. Um, Cheyenne uh, likes people. Uh, Cheyenne, well, I hear some things like Cheyenne, he likes people, right? Right, we repeat, guys. We use two subjects, right? And that that isn't correct. There's another example, guys, that I can't remember exactly, but we tend to repeat the subject, guys. Okay, 
So guys, if I say this, if I say this, you know, Evelyn, right? Evelyn, uh, like what, what type of music do you like, Evelyn? Rock. <laughs> Rock music, okay. All right. And what type of people do you like? Smart people. <laughs> okay. So listen, I can say, Evelyn likes um, people that are smart. Okay. Very good. But check this out, guys. Okay. So how many classes do we have here? What do you think? <laughs> we have two. Which are they? Two. Two. So they are Evelyn likes people. And then we have um, that are smart. Okay. But we have two ideas here, guys. What are the two ideas that we have? So we have two clauses, right? But what are the two ideas that we have, ladies and gentlemen? I said, uh, independent. No, I mean, what are the two ideas that we have? I want you to separate these two clauses, okay, and turn them into ideas, because that is exactly what a clause does. So what are the two ideas that we have? Clause. Yeah, we, we have, yes, but, okay, let me tell, all right, I'm gonna give you an example. Okay, so the first idea, guys, is that Evelyn, Evelyn likes people, right? Yes or no? That is the first idea, right? And what is the second idea? That are smart. Hey, no, but what the idea, the idea itself is, right? I will say this, right? The second idea is Evelyn likes people, right? Like smart people, right? Do you remember that I asked you that? Smart people, okay? So, so now guys, this is the reason why we have relative clauses, okay? So what's going on here, guys? What is, what's happening here? Tell me what's going on here. Disappear the, the word that is not necessary. All right. So exactly. Yes, Andrew, you got it. Okay. So Evelyn likes people is the first idea. And then so, so think about it like this, guys. Let's pretend that you are in a conversation and you're talking to you're talking about Evelyn, right? So for some reason you're talking about Evelyn. So I say, hey Jancy, did you know Evelyn likes people? Evelyn likes smart people. So right, I am reading, I am repeating the subject, I am repeating the verb. I am repeating guys um many things within two ideas. And that is the the reason why we have these clauses, okay? So instead of using two sentences, right? Because these are two sentences. Why are they sentences, guys? Because they are com they are a complete th thought and they finished with a period, right? So far, so good? Yes. Guys, yes. Are you guys yes. following? Okay, very good. Okay, so we have two ideas, okay? So now what am I doing, guys? Okay, I am using that, which is actually, guys, a pronoun. Why is it a pronoun? Pra noun, sorry. So why is it a pronoun? Because that guys is substituting, right? People in that case. Oh, or I'm sorry, uh, uh, people, right? Who are smart, okay? Or people. you can say that are smart, right? People, yes, okay? So now let me give you another example, okay? Let's have two ideas. Mm, let's see what ideas do we have. Um, Yancy, give me, Give me two ideas about a uh, about you. Give me, I don't know, talk talk about two things that you like. I like to cook and uh, food, health food. 
Okay, very good. Yes. So, okay, so Jancy likes to cook healthy food, right? Oh. Now, give me, give me, give me another idea related to healthy food. Um, or give, just, just give me another yes. idea. Another. Yes. Um, and make a new recipe. Uh, I like to make new recipe. Yancy likes to create, create new yeah. recipes, right? Okay, good job. Thank you. Can we join these two ideas into one, guys? Okay. Yes. How would you join them together using relative clauses? Jancy likes to cook healthy food, which wait. Which are mm -hmm. which are being to create new recipes. Recipes, I don't know. Recipe. Recipes in this case. Uh, recipes. Recipes, okay. yes. Yeah. All right. Maybe we're missing something, right? So, okay. So think about it like this, guys. Okay. Do they have the same thing? Do you have? Yes, it likes to, good help, to cook healthy food, food. Yes, it likes to create new recipes, right? So if you were, if we were to join them using, um, yes, it likes to cook healthy food by creating new recipes. Yes, Sandra, that is absolutely correct. You can say that, right? Um, that would be more close to the actual um, the, the actual idea that I'm looking for, right? So in this case, guys, right? We're missing something, okay? So I need the same idea, guys, to be related to cook. So yes, it likes to cook healthy food. So yeah. in the second idea, we can say what? Yes, it likes, um, yes, it likes um, we can say, Yancy likes family members, right? Yancy likes family members, and Yancy likes to cook healthy. Yancy likes um, likes them, right? To cook healthy food, food, right? So this, can we join these two ideas together with a relative uh, pronoun? Yes. Yeah. All right. So how would you do it? How would you do that? Yes, it likes to cook health food for the family. <laughs> for All right, family. do me a favor, guys, okay? Do me, everybody do me a favor. Um, send me your answer. I want everybody to join the two ideas together, okay? Try to join them by, by using a relative clause, okay? I mean, a relative yeah. pronoun, all right? You're gonna use that or who, okay? Send me the example, guys. Send me your answer real quick, okay? Let's see. Let's see how to join these two ideas together. All right, so I got Jose Luis. Yancy likes to cook healthy food for her family members. Mm. So in that example, Jose Luis, um, we are not using any relative pronoun, right? I, I want you to use only one relative pronoun. I mean, two. Either that or who, okay? 
Both are correct. Both are used for people. Jen selects family. Mm, members who cook healthy food. All right. Well, I'm not going to read them now, guys. All right. Uh, give me your examples and then we'll see. All right, so Jen likes to cook healthy food for her, healthy food for her family members. You see, likes family members who cook healthy food. You see, we're good. You see, who likes family members cook healthy food for them. All right. You see, <laughs> likes them who cook healthy food. You see, likes people who cook healthy food. You see, likes people cooking healthy food for who are his family members. You see, who likes family members that cook healthy food. Carlos made that new flavor cake yes it likes good healthy food for those who are her family members okay i, I like that I, that's very creative yes it likes people who are his family members to cook healthy food all right yes it likes good food that is healthy for her family members okay all right very good okay now, guys, I'm going to give you the right answer, okay? So the right answer is, guys, okay, let's join these two ideas together, okay? So what are the things that we are repeating here? What are the things that, re that, that we're repeating here? Yancy, right? So we have Yancy, and then we have Yancy over here, right? So we're just, we're just going to use one Yancy, right? Yancy, okay? Yancy what? What is the... What are the two ideas here? Okay, so we have Jens likes likes likes. Okay, he likes them to cook healthy food. Jens likes family members. Okay, all right. Um. Okay, we're gonna say Yancy likes family members, right? That cook healthy food. All right. You can say that or you can say who, guys. Both of them would be correct, okay? Yancy likes family members, that or who cook healthy food, right? So we can put it like this. Yancy likes, okay. Um, yeah, like Yancy likes family. Let's say this, guys. Yancy likes family members here. All right. Yancy likes family members. Right. Um, just likes family members 
Mm. Let's change this. Yeah, it likes them to cook healthy food, right? <laughs> so anyways, now we're joining the two ideas together, right? So we have the first one over here. Nancy likes family members. And what type of family members do, uh, does she like? Okay, she likes family members that cook healthy food, okay? So now I want you to notice something, okay? All right, you can say Evan likes people that are smart and that is, that is yes, this is a relative, um, a relative pronoun, right? Now, I want you to notice that we are not able to eliminate this because it's followed by the verb be. I want you to remember that, okay? Because that's what we're gonna see next. Now here, is, is this followed guys by the, by the verb be? Uh -uh. No. no, okay. All right, so we're gonna talk about uh, more about that soon, okay? But here guys, you can completely eliminate this. And you can say, Jan selects family member. I'm sorry, no, you will not be able to eliminate this, okay? Can we say, guys, Jan selects family members cook healthy food? Can we say that? No. No, right? Okay. Although they are used, you know, they are um, relative clauses, right? Um, okay. So when can we eliminate them? Okay. Let's, uh, we're going to talk about that. Okay. But before that, guys, let me ask you something. So which one is the independent clause here? Independent. Yes. In the case of Jan selects family members. Yes, it's the independent. This one is the independent, right? So Jan selects family member, right? So independent clause, okay? And and what about this one? That cook healthy food. What is that? The, dependent. Okay, dependent clause. Now, check this out, guys. What type of dependent clause? So there is a category behind the dependent clause, right? What type of dependent clause is it? If a clause, guys, starts with a relative pronoun, it is, it is what? Awesome. Very good. It is a relative clause. Got it? Yeah. All right. Yes. So, so that's it, guys. So, so a relative clause, guys, is a dependent clause. Okay. It's a category of dependent clause. Okay. So mm -hmm. this clause is a dependent clause, but what type of dependent clause is it? Oh, it is a relative clause. It's a relative clause which is dependent, got it? Yes. Relative clauses, guys, are always gonna be dependent, okay? So far, so good? Yes. yes. All right, okay, pretty good, guys, pretty good. So let's go back to the presentation. All right, we're gonna go back to the presentation here. And I want you to take a look at the different type of relative pronouns. What is the difference between a relative pronoun and a relative clause, guys? Or is it the same thing? What do you think? Relative clause, relative pronoun. Mm -hmm. What is the only difference between a relative pronoun and a relative clause? Relative clause, you only that which in who? No. <laughs> Okay, guys, let's let's do a quick let's do a quick game. Okay, let's try to recognize this as fast as possible. I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you as um, I'm gonna give you a clause, and you have to tell me which one is the relative pronoun. Okay, sounds good. Yeah. All right, let's yes. start with Joaquin Ramirez. Hello, Joaquin. <laughs> Before you fall asleep, sir. All right, so all right, so if I say um, who run fast, which where is the relative pronoun? Who run fast? Relative pronouns. 
Yes. Yeah, so if I say who, right? I want to say I want to say this, right? I'm gonna I'm giving you an example. If I said who run fast, where is the relative pronoun? Who? Cool. Very good, right? Good job. If I say okay, so let's let's see, Sandra. Uh, yes. That I like. Where is the relative pronoun? The relative pronoun that I like. I like. No, it, I suppose that that is a. Uh, I. Relative. Where is the relative pronoun, Sandra? No. Mm, well, the no, no. Over there, there's no. There is no no relative pronoun. It's a, a close. A relative close. This is the that. relative pronoun. That is that. the relative pronoun. That's the pronoun. Right. pronoun too. That. That is the pronoun. Uh, yes. Ah, uh, the same. Yes. Right. Um. All right. Very good. Uh. Yancy. Okay. Uh. Which. I like. Where's the relative pronoun? Which. Good job. Okay. Which. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I'm just gonna get the list of participants here, right? Amilcar Alejandro. If I said, mm, um, I prefer, which, where's the relative pronoun? Whom. Mm. Whom, mm, right? Mm. Very good. If I say, whose mm, car, whose car is gray, right? Let's say this. Whose car is gray? Okay, whose car is gray? Um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Luis Alonso, which, where is the relative pronoun? Whose, teacher? Whose, exactly, right? Whose. Okay, now, what is a relative pronoun, guys? It's just one word, okay? Now, are these clauses yes or no? Yes, they no. are. Yes, they are. Yes. yes. A group yeah. of words, a subject. A group of predicate. words that contains a subject and a predicate. Yes. Yes. Okay. So, yes, guys. Yes. Okay. They are clauses. What type of clauses? They are. Yeah, they are dependent, right? Because we need another, we need more information. However, guys, what type of dependent clauses are they? Relative. Okay, they are relative clauses. Why? How can you recognize a relative clause? Because. Because? They have a pronoun, pronoun, relative pronoun. Because, guys, they start. They repeat, everybody repeat, because they start with a relative pronoun. Repeat, because, because they start they with a relative, 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 relative pronoun. All right, very good. Okay, because they start yeah, with a relative pronoun. Okay, guys, unlike, unlike your girlfriend or your boyfriend, right? These, right, these, these words here are going to stay with these clauses forever, okay? <laughs> All right. Remember guys, remember relationships, relationships, right? Will betray you, but English will never, <laughs> will never betray you guys. English will never leave you. All right. So anyways, um, so now guys, uh, so those are, right? These are, these are, this is the reason why these are called relative clauses, okay? Because they start with a relative pronoun. Easy, right? Yeah. Now, okay. They are pronouns because they substitute a noun. What's I mean, who, who would, could be saying, you know, Cheyenne, right? That could be saying people or Cheyenne. Who's, right? You could say Cheyenne, which could say, you know, uh, could be talk, it could be talking about uh, a car or an animal. Whom could be talking about a person, right? So basically, guys, who is used for people, okay? Who is used for people, which is used for things and animals. You cannot use which for people, guys, okay? Just things and animals. 
whose whose is used for possessions okay all right and whose is going to be followed by um by a noun all right whom guys whom right is used for a person as the object of the verb okay right we're not gonna go over these two uh guys because those are out of topic right but it's, just, it's good for you to know them they are part of relative pronouns okay and that guys is used for people or things so who and that can be used for people there is no difference okay you can use them both and which is used for things and animals remember these three okay we're gonna go we're gonna be using who which and that any questions so far guys we're good all right very good so no questions so far good all right so let's continue then so in that case guys moving on we have relative pronouns and we have um we have the examples that i that i, that I showed you before here, right now we're not going to go the defining part and non-defining guy part guys but yes we do have defining Relative clauses versus non-defining relative clauses. The difference between these guys is um, important information versus optional information. But um, just so you know, guys, that these are part of the clauses that exist. Okay. However, all right. Let's focus, guys, on what I asked you to do before. Okay. So, how do we, guys? Okay. Now, there's um, we have to talk about something very important okay all right so how can we shorten okay how right how to shorten relative clauses so how do we shorten the relative clauses how do we reduce them okay so first of all we have to take a look at the type of uh sentence that we're gonna have if you go to the platform, guys, there is one example. I don't know if you've seen it, but there is one example. The first example that we got there is what, guys? Do you remember it? Let's take a look at this, okay? It says, someone able to think quickly might be a good surgeon, okay? So someone, right, who or that, is uh, able to think to think quickly, right? To think quickly might be a good surgeon. Okay. So uh, let me ask you this, guys. How many clauses do we have here? Um, you know what let's do this we say bold and then we're going to copy this and i'm going to say um people who are good at soccer Mm, are fans of Barcelona, right? Yeah. <laughs> no. Are are fans of um, clubs from Spain? Okay, just so you don't fight over this. All right, very good, guys. Yeah, okay, so, two two clauses. So we have two clauses. Okay, so where where is the first clause that we have at the in the where where is the first so clause that we have? Is able to think quickly so, someone who is able to think quickly quick, okay yes all right what about what about the second one maybe a, a good Our friends. might be a good surgeon yes let's analyze that if that is the case guys <laughs> if that is the case do we have a subject okay. and a predicate with that verb? subject Mm. No, yes, I mean what? What? What do you think, guys? Mm. 
pero muy sobrenatos. Oh. All right, so guys, we have one. We have one. We, guys, follow wow. the rule. Follow the rule, right? Someone cannot be a relative clause. I mean, someone cannot be a clause, sorry, right? Because it's only one word. Who is able to think quickly might be a good surgeon is a clause, of course, right? But someone is not, someone is not, okay? So we only have one, one mm -hmm. clause and one sentence, okay? People mm -hmm. who are good at soccer are fans of clubs from Spain. There okay. are two clauses. Which one, which one yes. is the first one? Who are, who are good at soccer. People and... who are good at soccer, <coughs> at, so at soccer. All right, yeah, this could be one clause. So is this a second clause? Uh, no. Uh, no. So therefore, uh, therefore we have one clause, okay? So we only one have one clause. and one. Yes, we only have one. One independent clause, okay? All right, so we have one independent clause, okay? So what is the platform saying? Okay, so what is the whole, what, what is all the fuzz, the, the fuzz about? All, all the fuzz about. So basically, guys, oh, I'm sorry, someone that, I'm going to use that, right? Remember, guys, that I, I told you we use who and that for, for what? We don't need this word. No, hold on. We use who or that for what? For people and things. For people. Okay. Yes. And mm -hmm. that, that can be used for people and things, but who and that can be used for people, right? Okay, so with that being said, guys, we know that these are relative clauses, right? Now, we're going to include someone here, and we're going to include people as part of the relative clause because we only have one, okay? So who, guys, and is, right? First of all, these and these guys have to be together. So the relative, pay attention to this guy. The relative clause, I mean, the relative pronoun and the verb be have to go together. See, relative pronoun and be have to go together. Yeah. Okay. So, what? So, if we have the, the combination of these two guys, we can drop them. Okay. So, we can eliminate them. So, how do we do Only that? Who? Only the who? That. Someone exactly. Them. exactly, guys. So, in that case, you're right. You got it. Okay. So, we're going to say, right? Someone. Able. All right. And instead of that, are. We're going to say, right, people good at soccer are fans of clubs from Spain. Someone able to think quickly might be a good surgeon, okay? So you can drop relative clauses like this, okay? All right, let's take a look at a different example. Um, actually, you guys give me an example. Try to change the subject. Can I say, guys, do you remember, guys, that I told you that you can use a whole phrase as a subject? What about these guys? What about, what about, um, that, that, let's see, um, let's see, yes, let's see, think, of, think about an example, guys. I'm thinking about an example with, with, uh, with a whole class as a subject. I have an example. Uh, Tell me, Evelyn. Uh, okay, students who review their classes get better grades. Very, very good. Students who review the classes right, get better grades, right? Okay. Now, I like this example because of something. Now, this is a, do we have, do, how many clauses do we have here, guys? One. One. One, yes, we have one, right? We have one, guys. We have one clause, okay? So can I eliminate this, yes or no? Let's see. Can I eliminate this? Students review no. the classes, get better grades. Can I say that? No. no. 
All right, no, why not? It's number to be. <laughs> exactly, guys. Okay, so for you to reduce, guys, okay, a relative plus, you have to remember these two guys, guys. These two guys, right, are married, right? So you have who or that, right? And then you have right the verb to be okay they're married okay. so they have to be so in order to you know crush their love right they have to be together if they're not together guys how are you gonna separate them right so if you want to be la usurpadora you know they have to be together okay? <laughs> all right so that's how you do it guys okay so no we are not gonna be able this is a relative plus yes but we're not gonna use that okay give me another example Teacher, I have an um, example. The artists, the artists that are talent, talent for enjoy the the life. Okay, all right. Keep 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 that thought in mind. All right, give me that example again. I'm just giving. I'm, I'm just gonna type one in right now. Amazing things in the universe. Um. I think that, are that are observed by scientists um, have been uh, documented. Okay. All right. So yes, I'm sorry. Please, please, please give, give please give me your example again. Uh, I think that was you, Selena, um, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um. I think that the artists that are uh, that are talented talent for enjoy the life. Okay. All right. Let's first of all let's correct the grammar on this. Okay. Um, were you talking about one artist or were you talking about all artists in the world? No, all. Okay, oh, so it would artist. be artists. The artists. artists. Now, the artists. 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 Okay. The artists. Artists. Okay. Artists. So artists, all right. So artists that are talented. I guess you want to say talented. Yes. Artists that are talented. Talented. And then this, what, what does this mean? I don't understand that. Talented. No. Artists that are talented. Oh, that I'm sorry. Enjoy life. For enjoy the the like a uh, universe, and um, they can see uh, all kind of sim that that we we didn't. <laughs> okay. Uh, Is that the mean? Okay. I, I, I cannot translate what you're saying because I, I, I'm sorry. I really okay. don't understand what you want to say here. Are you trying to say artists okay. that are talented the in your life? Yeah. Yeah. That's, okay. uh -huh. So can I say artists uh, talented enjoy life? Talented enjoy um all kind of all kind of thing in the universe i think or um like that <laughs> no so if it's an artist artist talented in your life no right yeah. this is an adjective okay we're oh, using an adjective yeah. here all right if we use an adjective oh my god what's okay. going on with this all right if we use an adjective right we have to say things like like, like this okay uh, you need to say talented, right? Talented artists enjoy life, right? So now that wouldn't be a good example if we made it like that, okay? But I want you to take a look at, but, but good try, Selena. I want you to take okay, a look at the example that I gave you guys. All right. 
when uh, Sandra says nobody who is alone wants to continue living like this and all. Yes, that is that is correct. I like that example, Sandra. We're gonna use that one too. I really like Thank it. You. All right, Sandra says nobody, right? Nobody who is alone wants to continue living like this all his life long. All his life, not lifelong. Okay. Okay. All right, very good. All right. So, anyways, um, nobody who's so so let's analyze the this example first. Amazing things in the universe that are observed by scientists have been documented. How many clauses do we have? <laughs> what? Only the most. We only have one. We only have one. No. No. Why do we say two? Remember, amazing things in the universe is not a clause, guys. Why not? No. No. Because we don't have a predicate. No. Okay. This is the subject. Okay. All right. So now, can we say, guys, right? Can we say amazing things in the universe observed by scientists have scientists have been documented? Can we say that? Yes. Oh. Yes. Yes. There you go. Yes. Okay. We can say that. All right. So, all right. So it's followed by a verb, right? Not not an adjective. That is not an adjective. Okay. All right. So it's a, it's a past participle verb. Okay, so yeah, we can say that. And notice that I'm not saying someone or people, right? But I'm using, guys, I want you to notice something. Subject, 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 okay? So we have to use the subject followed by a relative pronoun, okay? If you want to reduce it, okay? So we have a subject, right? So we have a subject. And then over here, hold on, let me get rid of that. Let's do that again, okay? So we have, this is gonna be the subject, subject, subject. All right. So subject, and then this Relative. right here is gonna be followed by Relative. a relative pronoun plus the verb be, right? So remember yes. that. So the relative pronoun and the verb be together. Okay, they have to be together. Okay, so we have, right, B plus, I'm sorry, um, that relative, relative pronoun plus B, B together. Okay, right, let's move this over here. Okay, so subject, right, and relative pronoun plus the verb B together. All right, now the next thing that, this might change guys, but for this example, you can use, if you go to the platform, right, what they have in common is a verb, okay? All right, it has, you can you can use a verb. I, in this case, I used a verb in past participle, right, because of the tense, okay? But we need a verb, okay? The what? Yeah. All right, very good. So we have the verb here, right? And then the rest is up to you guys. Okay, it has to be a clause though, okay? So that oh, verb yeah. has to be attached to a clause. All right, so that's guys how we make, you know, this relative clause. And now remember, this is how we can eliminate, this is how we can eliminate the relative pronoun, okay? Amazing things in the universe, observed by scientists have been documented, all right? Now, take a look at this. Nobody, will, who, nobody who is alone wants to continue living like this all his life, okay? I, I hear guys, you can do, the, you would say all their life. Why should we say there and not, and not his? Is is plural? No, it's not. It's not plural. It's just that you're referring to he and she, guys. You can say he or and she, right? 
I mean, his, I'm sorry, his yeah. or her, okay? You can say, nobody who is alone wants to continue living like this or his or her life. But in this case, since we're referring to both of them, right? A she or a, she or a he, then we need we say there, all right? When we don't specify. When we don't know. About, when yes, exactly. when so nobody who's alone wants to continue living like this or all their life, okay? So anyways, um, so can we reduce these guys? Let's see, do we have a subject? When you yes. use. Yes. Yes, okay. Nobody. We do, we do Nobody have a subject, either. right? Very good, nobody. Mm -hmm. Do we have a relative pronoun with a verb be? Who is? Who, who is, very good, right? Yes, so yes we who have is. this, right? By the way. Do we have um, a, verb? a verb afterwards? Um, yeah. no. One. Alone, alone is one. Not but we have, but we have one. here, right? So what about alone? So now, here's the thing, guys. Okay, this, right? Yes, we can eliminate this. Nobody who is alone, right, wants to. But this right here, guys, alone is working as an adjective for nobody. So these right here, nobody alone, right? Works as the subject, got it? This, so this is right. So if you sorry. do that, this is an interesting an interesting case. <laughs> I, I really like that, okay? Because then nobody alone, right? Transforms into the subject, right? It's a combination between the adjective and the indefinite pronoun, right? So then we have the combination subject, relative pronoun, verb B, and the verb, right? Nobody alone wants to continue living like this all their life. Got it? Yes. All right. Beautiful, yes. Beautiful. I really love that example because that, that, so these kind of things happen, you know? All right, guys. Do we have any question, guys? Before, before we leave, guys, I promised that we were going to go over the platform, but do we have any question? No? Not teacher. No. Everything's no, very good. Clear. Very good. Very good. Very good. Okay. Did you enjoy the topic? Did you understand it? Oh, yes, sir. Yes. yes. Sir. All right. Very good, guys. Very good. Very good. I think I'm going to be with you in the next session. Guys. Section. Sorry. The next yes, module. please. 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 <laughs> I think so. I think so. All right. Very good. Uh, so, guys, let, I'm just going to show you the answers because of the time. You're supposed to have completed them, right? So the answer for number one, guys, is someone hoping to be a chef. Let's see. Someone hope, ho someone, I'm sorry, someone who hopes, someone hoping to be a chef should get the proper training. So that's the answer for number one. Proper training. Anyone wanting to be, to be an actor needs both talent and luck. All right, a person Working well, as a comedian, he's always looking for new ways to make people laugh. Okay, mm -hmm. people clever enough to get inside the mind of a criminal would make good detectives. Anyone who dreams of becoming a champion athlete has to be prepared to do a lot of hard work. All right, I'm sorry, the, the, the answer is anyone dreaming of becoming a champion. Athlete, a champion athlete has to be prepared to do a lot of hard work. And then uh, last one, someone's responsible for a large staff has to be able to create, uh, to be creative with scheduling. Okay, yes, and there you go. These are the answers, okay? So then we have the listening exercise and this one. Does anybody need help with this? Or did no. you get it? No, no, no. All right. Then we have this one right here. And this no. one is not about completing anything, right? I think the only section where you had to complete this was this right here, right? So, so anyways, guys, um, so we're gonna go over the answers from the final exam two tomorrow, okay? So okay, guys, guys, I hope that, you know, I hope you enjoyed the class, guys, that we learned new things. We have two more days, right? We have two more days. And then, um, and then we, I, we have, we have, I start another class on the 17th. I have um, advanced mm -hmm. three 
I'm going to be yes. I have advanced. We degree, are so advanced. At 8, at 8 p.m. So I think it's going to be you. You know, oh, so that, yeah. that'll be awesome. All right, guys, thank you very much. And I'll see you tomorrow. Take care, guys. See you tomorrow, teacher. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.